Hello guys and welcome to Walking Project. Today is a big day for me because I finally reached a very important milestone on my channel, which is 2000 subscribers. In order to celebrate that, I'm going to introduce a new series on my channel called Phone Throwbacks. That's going to be basically about a special phones released in the past, which has something unique about them. And I want to show you guys those phones every once in a while. So you might have heard about the ZTE Axon M, the dual screen foldable smartphone, which is just announced a couple of days ago. Well, I've got something very similar for you guys today called the Neck Medius W, the true foldable smartphone. The true foldable smartphone released in the true foldable smartphone released in Japan in 2014. So let's have a look. Now this phone was released on NTT Docomo exclusively in Japan for about six hundred dollars in late 2013, guys. And spec-wise, this was top of the line phone back in the day. It runs Snapdragon X4, a dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor, one gig of RAM. 16 gigabytes of storage, one 8 megapixel camera over here, as well as two screens, both of 4.3 inches of QHD resolution. That's a resolution we don't see anymore on the nowadays phones. Now, removing the battery door reveals our micro SD slot here, as well as the SIM card slot and our battery, which is 2100 milliamp hours of battery, which was plenty back in the day, considering that the processors were not that hungry and as well as the two screens are not that high of a resolution. So actually the battery life on the thing is all right. So this is the folding design of this phone, guys. You just fold it like that. And that's it, very simple. And I was very surprised when I was watching Mr. Mobile as well as MakeMG, huge respect for those channels, but when they were talking about the Axon M, they said that it looks like the Kyocera Echo. Well, actually it doesn't. And they said that because the Kyocera Echo was released in the US and probably they have never heard of the Neck Medias W, super beast from Japan. So let's see what we're dealing with over here, guys. On top, we have the micro USB charging port, one noise cancelling microphone. That's our only 8 megapixel camera here, as well as the flash. We've got a bunch of sensors over here, and that's the earpiece, the entity Docmo logo. And at the bottom, we've got the Medias logo, as well as nothing on this right hand side. On the sides, we've got our power button, which is rather small, the volume rockers and the 3.5 millimeter jack. And we've got the N05E, that's the code name of the model, guys. At the bottom, our only speaker is taking place as well as the main microphone. So ZT definitely copied the neck medias. I have no idea why, because the phone was not a bestseller by any means and it wasn't that popular as well. And now in 2017, just releasing a phone like that, it doesn't make much of a sense. And basically the only feature the Axon M has over this phone is the ability to mirror both screens at the same time. You can't really do this on this phone. The only two options you've got over here to use both screens as one or to do something else on the second screen let me show you what i'm talking about so when we open up an article it's a little bit strange to look at it like that so the better thing you can do is just flip the screen like that and just read your article like that which is a little bit awkward as well simply because you've got this huge bar black bar over here because the screens are not edge to edge like the nowadays screens but on the other hand the axon m is not edge to edge as well so it's 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 a little bit awkward to be honest with you it's a little bit strange but the upside is when you try to type something over here check this out this screen becomes a keyboard itself so the buttons are really huge and uh if especially if you're site is not very good this is the perfect solution for you and now the other thing you can do with the second screen is press this small button over here and it's going to change the modes now you're going to be able to do something else on the second screen unfortunately the applications you can run are a little bit limited you can check your gallery you can browse another internet website over here so basically two websites at the same time what else you can do? That's back to gallery, that's screenshot button. At this button over here is starting tab search, which is basically you mark up a text on the screen like that and you press search. 
And now the second screen is searching for this text, which might be handy, but you can't really, you know, mirror both screens to do the same. So yeah, one thing you can do is just use the second screen as a stand and just watch your favorite YouTube videos. In that case, that's my video about the HTC U Ultra is half price at the moment and you might want to check this out. And of course, if you really want to, you can always use the phone as a normal phone with just the first screen on. But to be honest with you, the biggest fear I've got with this phone is breaking one of the screens. So basically, I've put screen protectors on the day I have this phone is peeled off a little bit over here on this side. And the problem is basically leaving your phone like that, you, you might damage the first screen and leaving it like that, you might damage the second screen, which is a problem who seems not to be resolved by the Axon M. And to be honest with you, I really don't see this phone taking off as ZTE hopes, guys. So my recommendation to you is that don't waste 600 pounds on the Axon M smartphone before trying this kind of form factor and deciding is it good for you. So it's a better idea to find this neck medias somewhere on eBay now, buy it, they retail quite expensively, to be honest with you, about 200 pounds at the moment. Just get it, see if the dual screen thingy is for you. You can always resell the phone for the same money or make a little bit of profit on top of it and then decide whether you should spend $600 on the ZT Axon M, guys. So yeah, that's about it for today's video, guys. The neck medias W the real foldable smartphone from Japan from 2013. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. At least you might have learned something new. And uh, the next video I'm planning to do it every once in a while, maybe probably once a month, um, I'm gonna take some phones out of my personal collection so I can show you guys some interesting and unique phones. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and see you in the next one. Adiós.